Salesforce and Adobe Acrobat Sign are powerful tools when used together. But sometimes you might run into an error message from the Adobe Acrobat Sign Agreements tab that says, Invalid user ID or email provided an XAPI user header. What this means is that the sender doesn't have a valid Acrobat Sign license. Let me walk you through the steps to troubleshoot this. First, we need to identify who sent the agreement. All we need to do is navigate to the Agreements tab in Salesforce. Once we find the agreement, go to the Created By column and click the username. This will bring us to the User Details page where we can check and make sure the email field has a valid address. If the email is valid, we are ready to check if they have an active Acrobat Sign license. One thing you should know is that there are two types of Acrobat Sign management systems. One is licenses and users managed on the Acrobat Sign dashboard. The other type is managed on the Adobe Admin Console. I will walk you through both the systems so you have just what you need to get your users up and running. If an Acrobat Sign license and users are managed on the Acrobat Sign dashboard, log into the dashboard using Sign Account Admin credentials, then navigate to Account. Then go to the Users tab and look up the email address to see if they have a valid license. It looks like our user doesn't have an active status since they didn't come up in our search. To activate them, we first need to go over to the More Options icon and then select Show All Users. Now we need to navigate to our user. I'm just going to type in their email address to narrow the results. Here they are. We just click on their name and then reactivate them. Now that the user is reactivated, let's have them send a new agreement from Salesforce and see if it works. If an Acrobat sign license and users are managed in the Adobe Admin Console, log in to the Admin Console as a System Administrator. Then, navigate to Products. Under the Document Cloud Product section, we click on Adobe Sign. From here, go to the Product Profile. Then click on the Add User button. OK. From here, we can type in the email address or name of the user we want to enable, along with their first and last name. Once that is done, make sure that you choose the product role for the user and click Save. Once the user is added, they will need to log into Acrobat Sign Dashboard so they can activate their license. After they do that, have them send a new agreement from Salesforce. If you have tried these solutions but are still running into problems, I recommend trying these steps. Check the email address and confirm it is entered in the Salesforce profile. We want to make sure it is the same one we registered in the Adobe Acrobat Sign account. If it is different, change the email address in the Salesforce profile. To do this, click on the Profile icon. Then click on Settings. Mouse over to the left navigation panel and navigate to the My Personal Information section and click Personal Information. Then, in the email box, enter the same email address provided in the Adobe Sign account. Once the change is done, save the changes. If you are using the Send on Behalf feature in Salesforce with the agreement template, then make the profile email address changes on the profile of the Send on Behalf user. I would also recommend that you check that the sender has the required permissions in Salesforce. An Adobe Acrobat Sign user is the minimum required permission for an Adobe Sign for Salesforce sender user. We can quickly check this and, if needed, apply this permission by having the Salesforce system admin navigate to Setup, Administration, then select the user twirl down and click on Users. Once our Salesforce admin gets to this point, have them go to the users on the affected Salesforce org and click on the name link of the user. This will open the Setup Users page. Then they will need to mouse over to the Permission Set Assignments link and click the Edit Assignments button. Here, they will need to select the Permission Set Adobe Sign user and click Add. This will move the option from the Available side to the Enabled side. Perfect. Now click Save. We are here to help, so thanks for watching this video. And if you're still getting an error message after you go through these steps, please let us know. By following these steps, you are already off to a great start, so reach out to Adobe Acrobat Sign Support for additional solutions and support.